Welcome back to the show. Well, it's been a bit of a challenge if you're a cross-country skier, a skater, even downhill skiing. It's been um, it's been a difficult start for many of us that enjoy outdoor activities. But so thankful to have so many trails here in the Ottawa area now, not just for cross-country skiing because it's been expanded upon that. And I am joined by snow groomer Dave Adams Hello. back on the show. How are you? G'day, ya? sir. G'day. G'day, g'day. I hear you are uh, you're working on some equipment before yeah, you arrive. Yeah, you know, arrive, snow too. grooming equipment. Yeah. It's a, you know, it's an hour on the trail and it's an hour in the shop. Right. It's the nature of the beast. <laughs> um, let's talk about your your specific trail, Dave, and and how this all all came to be. This is a this is a really cool story. Yeah, I, I you know I really want to contribute to my city. Uh, I'm a professional snow groomer. I know I know the the art of snow grooming, and uh, I saw all this vacant snow in the Westboro area along the Ottawa River, which is a beautiful natural wonder of the world. Mm -hmm. And it was just doing nothing, right. doing nothing. And I had this ability, and I had this inclination. I said, you know what? Let's 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 make a trail for everybody. It's a multi-use urban winter pathway. Yeah, and that's what uh, th that's what I was saying at the, at the top. That's what makes it so unique. Is it you know I think when we think of, of of trails, right? The immediate thing that comes to mind is is certainly cross-country skiing. Ah. Um, but but you've expanded yeah, beyond it's, that, right? It's multi-use. Whether you are on on boots like snow bikes, walking your dog, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing. You know, we want to make our city more livable in winter. You know, this this is Ottawa. We yeah. are a winter city. Uh, it can be miserable. It can be dark. Uh, let's have some fun. Yeah, I agree. And I, and I think we've we've done a better job of giving people opportunities to to embrace it. Right. You bring the sport to the people. Right. So much you, so much of uh, the sports in Ottawa, you kind of get in a car and go away. Let's bring it into the city. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it to the people. Uh, Dave, you mentioned, you know, the art of, of snow grooming, and this is what you've been doing for a long time. How did you how did you learn the art of, of snow grooming, and what goes into it? I grew up at a Nacrotuck Ski Club. Okay. They're all about getting, uh, they're, they're in, in, the, in the business of promoting cross-country skiing. You know, Nacrotuck means cross, going across the snow quickly. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, 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 I grew up skiing there, and uh, it's a sport where you kind of give back once you grow up up and the snow grooming was my way of giving back to the sport right so what is the process uh, what, what sort of machinery do you use yeah how, how do you maintain in, in these trail? days of climate change uh, we're working with really difficult snow we're having freeze thaw cycles and uh, but the Ottawa river has got this uh, this bike path it is a very consistent surface and uh, we're able to, to get some equipment and work with very little snow okay. we can roll it we can plane it down like a, like we have this glorified cheese cutter or when the snow really does come we have these these this large groomer that can pack it you know we're we're, we're, we're we we make it smooth and consistent and uh, uh, just make a nice t t uniform for any of those sports I can't imagine there's um there, there's a lot of manufacturers of this type of, uh, no. of equipment out no, there, yeah. so we, I guess it's pretty it's pretty specialized. This, oh yeah, this it's kind a cult. Of thing. <laughs> Is it? Is it's it really? Cult. Oh yeah, every, all the snow groomers across North America and Europe, but we all talk and right. share. It's very open. Uh, we all love gear. Uh, we all love snow, and we, you know, we love machinery and tinkering. And you know, there's always a different way to do something, and uh, uh, we, we always like to. That's pretty cool, though, right? That globally, you each are sort of sharing, you know, how how you fix something or tinkered with with, with something else. It must be pretty important for for the industry, right? It is, and and everybody's working with these these changing climates. Like a lot of these 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 Nordic venues are starting to get snowmaking, for example, right. and that's throughout the whole world, like the World Cup. Yeah, you can't have a World Cup uh, without having artificial snow capacity. It's it's just this is the new reality. Yeah. Um, tell me what changes you've seen just in your time. You know, getting you a know, shorter a winter. Of, Absolutely, yeah, a shorter yeah. winter. We we normally start uh, early December and and end late March. We're, we're, the things are really shortening, and the, the freeze thaw cycles are really uh, just a reality of life. You mentioned here in, in Westboro along the river. What, what is the route exactly? Walk me through. Primarily, it goes from Westboro Beach to downtown. 
okay. al along what they call the MUP, the multi-use pathway. It's really a bike path. Uh, but the, 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 the river is gifted with all this green space adjacent to the bike path, and we make use of all of it. Like, nice. we, we, like it's snow. So you just go everywhere, and so we have all these loops. So yes, end to end, it's 4.6, okay. but the actual distance is 23 kilometers. Not for a snow groomer, because you're going around and around and back and forth, and it adds up for a long day. You right. know, if we get 10 centimeters of snow, it takes us about eight hours to, wow. to groom that really? down. Yeah. Um, you mentioned we, so you don't do this on your own, Definitely I imagine? Definitely not. It, okay. it, it, there's no man's a village. You know, no man's an island here. We, right. we really need to have a team of snow groomers. We're up to four, four towing vehicles, five okay. implements, and then we got a team, and we just tag team it, and we take shifts and uh, sometimes we're going in the night or sometimes early morning, late. You're, you're working with what the weather gives you. Right. How do you pay for all of this? We are a volunteer organization. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Me as a manager, I'm paid because I have to coordinate and, and I'm, I'm holding the bag on this. Right. But I have to coordinate all these volunteers. And, and people want to give back to the community. They're passionate. They see this cool thing. Hey, a cool, like this multi-use yeah. urban winter pathway. And I could, I could help. And, they, and they, uh, they feel it really draws people in, whether you're a snow shoveler, uh, a machine operator, a fundraiser, uh, a grant writer. It's a, it's a multi uh, it, there's, it's, a, it's a big team. Do you have sponsors? Yeah, we sure do. Yeah, 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 I yeah, so. yeah because uh, it, takes, it takes actually $50,000 to run this project. Okay. So we do need those sponsors. Uh, we're primarily user uh, don run by donations. Right. The National Capital Commission, the City of Ottawa give a portion, a third of our funding. Okay. Uh, okay. But it's, it really is a community effort in pure sense of the term. People can donate on the website? Then, Absolutely. I Winter Trail Winter Trail. Listen, I have family that lives just on Scott Street, and they swear by your trails. My stepmother is out there all the time. Absolutely loves using it. And the my ability wife and to I walk travel. from your home yeah. to a trail and not use a car—it makes me proud. Couldn't agree more. Thanks so much for joining us. My Appreciate pleasure. It, Dave. We'll be right back. <laughs>